Well, guys, it's not every day that we get to do something this, dare I say, special. <laughs> Saturday night <laughs> special. Ooh, okay. Girl, it's a Saturday night special. Saturday night special, baby. Saturday night special. <sighs> this is a product that was sent to us, and honestly, we get a lot of stuff kind of sent to us to try out. By far and away, this is the yeah. most impressive product I think we've ever played with and gotten. This is the Physics Beer Draft System. They innovatively revolutionized the way that you pour beer to get the best draft beer style experience right at your home. So the backstory is the people who made this found that the beer that you're pouring at your house, right, into your own glassware or whatnot, you're losing a bit of the essence of what the brewer intended. They even said doing the perfect pour method with a bottle where you go 45 degrees and you put a nice little head on it by pouring down the middle at the top. He said that's the worst thing you can do because it releases too much of the carbonation and too much of the aroma. And what they've done is they've actually made, made a way to maintain as much carbonation in the body of the beer as possible while making sure that you get the best head possible in the beer as well. Because as, as we all know, the head is where all the aroma is trapped and all the flavor it comes from the aroma. Right. Just from like a technical standpoint, the, the, the founder and the creator uh, is an engineer and really, really, really did his homework yeah. as to how sensory information works in terms of beer tasting. Yeah. And it really, really got it down to, no pun intended, but an exact science. It's got this sort of Keurig-esque shape to it, so it'll fit right in your kitchen um, without a problem, but what makes it work is truly genius, and yeah. uh, and it's so, so simple to use, but the technology powering it is really, really impressive, and I mean, truthfully, like a high-class car, like a really high-end model car, they really thought of just yeah. about every detail, and the beer is awesome that comes out of it. Yeah, and if you wanna hear our full interview with the CEO of Physics Group, uh, check out our podcast. The latest one we just did, I think it was episode 28. Yep. Uh, we just did a whole 20 minute interview with him. So if you wanna know all the specific sciences and details behind it, you can learn the whole backstory and everything at brewviewcrew.com backslash iTunes, look at the, the latest episode. But the way this works, you put a beer in there, or you can put a growler, or you can put a can, it doesn't matter. As long as you have some type of a vessel that'll fit in here, you're good. You close this system, you pull the handle forward and it pressurizes the system. It doesn't suck up from the tube, but it, like, like a good keg would, it pressurizes everything and pushes the beer out of the bottom of the can or vessel. And then to get that perfect head, they actually use sound waves and they figured out the perfect bubble size that they wanted, which is insane and you pull back on the lever and it creates this rich, creamy, almost nitro-like head on your beer. If you watch the shots of us pouring it, you'll see the, the really intense head on these things. And what, yeah. that's kind of funny because a lot of people, they think that that's maybe a bad thing. Like, oh, yeah. there's too much head in that thing. Right. Uh, so what we've done, we've actually poured um, some Founders Breakfast out yes. that I had in the, in the old cellar. And uh, we poured a couple glasses of it for ourselves through the physics. And then we poured a couple glasses, just normal style, the way you would pour every other beer. Uh, and we're gonna kind of talk about the differences, the nuances that we get. So the first thing you'll kind of notice when in the pour shots is that the beer on the, the head on the physics beer is a lot thicker and creamier and tighter. The bubbles are a lot smaller. They're not those big bubbles that kind of release too much and then dissipate too quickly, mm -hmm. which you kind of get on any other beer that you pour. You know, Founders Breakfast Style is a really high quality oh, beer, so it's not the like the it's not like your experience to be bad out of the bottle, right? I mean, your glass can be great. Yeah. However, according to physics, it's just marginally different than what the brewer had intended. Yeah. And when you watch the pour shots, you're going to see a definite difference. I mean, there is just I mean, there's just a a stunningly visual difference between a hand poured and physics poured brew. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see if there's any difference in aroma. Again, I know the head is dissipated on this a little bit, but we should still be able to taste. I mean, you get those big chocolate and uh, boozy kind of dark fruit notes that you get out of every other uh, beer, but it just it's so intense. These these physics beers make these aromas so intense and right to the nose. It's a, it's incredible actually. Oh, there's a huge difference. There really is. There's a monster <laughs> difference. And I mean, we're not just saying that. There is a gigantic wow. difference. The aroma 
on the hand poured beer is so much, so much less intense mm. and full, I think would be the right, right way right. to kind of describe that. I mean, it's just, it's muted. It's muted compared to the physics. Yeah. And, and, and I can, I can hear myself. I can hear myself. <laughs> You're getting like, so excited about I this. Can, I can hear my octaves going up, but like, I can hear myself. It sounds like I'm trying to sell this thing, but I'm not. Like no, I went, that was a re- genuine reaction. We've never done a side by side like I, this. I've, I've gone from thinking, oh, another sort of like tabletop, yeah. you know, beer dispenser. I'm like all in. I'm like a full believer in this because I really, it's so different. I mean, just off the aromas alone, the physics smells super rich and sweet and it's got like vanilla and like I said, those dark fruits. The, the hand poured is all coffee to me. Not that you don't get any coffee with the physics, but it just has more complexity. It's just so much more going on. It's really it's really pretty amazing. That was genuine surprise, genuine shock and, and astonishment yeah. at the intense difference between the two. Yeah, well, let's see if there's any difference in flavor real quick. Cheers. Cheers. What you're gonna get because of the bubbles, and remember, it's not nitrogen. Yeah, it's it, not. It's just, it's just pressurized sound wave technology, and uh, it just makes, and you guys know that like for me, mouthfeel is such an important factor. It just gives it that, like you said earlier, a nitrogen-esque smoothness, mm-hmm. but not the nitrogen effects, not the gas effects on the beer flavor itself. Let's yeah, try it really A little sharper. That's the word I'm going for. This actually has a sharper carbonation because of the, the creaminess kind of made over here, but it definitely has a sharper, more bitter aftertaste as well. I just I just get, I mean, obviously they both taste excellent. I just get so much of a more richer uh, yeah. experience out of the physics beer. The hand poured beer, I would never snuff, never ever. No. But, but it's just, I don't know. I just really feel like you lose nothing by running the beer through the physics and you gain just a much more pleasant experience. Right, and I have to stress, like we're not here to sell the system. No. It was given to us, but I, I honestly, if, if, yeah. we, if we didn't have one ourselves. We, we've, tr- not trash, but we've talked, you know, not glowingly, glowingly about other companies before. If I, this is great. I would definitely purchase this myself if we didn't already have yeah. a physics system. This is one that I would legitimately spend my own teacher salary money on because I feel like it fits in with my kitchen appliances yeah. already. It's not going to be like an ugly eyesore, and it just—it's a talking point. It's cool. It's fun. It's techy and gadgety, yeah. and the beer's good. So I don't know. It, it's right up my alley, and I, I actually fully endorse this product. All right, and finally, I wanna look at the pros and cons of this system. So first pro is that it is kitchen tabletop friendly. It sits right in your kitchen. It looks just like a Keurig and probably fits in with most of your appliances. Not only does it look good, but it works, right? So like the other, con, the other pro is that it, it advertises something and it does it very well. Third pro is that it will receive any size vessel, can, bottle, bomber, growler, whatever you can, as long as it fits in that little tower, which fits a lot. Pro, very easy to clean. We found that out firsthand. <laughs> Just remove some of the pieces. It's almost an afterthought. As far as cons go, yeah. there's a slight learning curve. You're probably going to lose one beer to kind of learning the steps. Yeah, you might get a little too much head your first time. Uh, the other con that I can think of is that there's not a great way to gauge how much is left in the vessel. So you might either run out of beer early before you can get the perfect head, or you might pour too much and then leave a little in the bottle or can. I think it's not an exact science on 12 ounces. Again, guys, if you are interested in hearing from the horse's mouth, we did an awesome interview with the CEO of Physics. Just go to our podcast, The Brew Review Crew, on tap. The link's in the description below. You might as well take a listen. Interview is great. The system's awesome. Buy one, listen, see ya.